No new players, but today we bring you a new assistant coach and a new team at Collingwood for 2018. Welcome to News Daily, I'm Sarah Allen. Well, Collingwood's 2018 coaching panel is complete with the addition of former Geelong champion and experienced leader Gary Hocking. With over 15 years coaching experience, Hocking has joined the club as an assistant coach specialising in stoppages. We're lucky enough to have him on the line now. Gary, welcome to Collingwood. Your coaching has taken you all around the country. You must be excited to begin a new chapter here in Melbourne. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first and foremost, I guess, um, you know, from a career point of view, uh, getting back into the AFL and continuing my career as a coach. Um, secondly, um, you know, my wife's been uh, away from her family um, for the last eight years and been an amazing support for myself and also for my children. So an opportunity for her to possibly get back into Melbourne or Geelong. And, and again, I've got three children, uh, Taylor, 20, Chelsea, 19, and Lachlan, 17. Um, a great opportunity for them to get back in, into Melbourne as well and around family. Can you tell us a little bit about your style of coaching and the values that you want to bring to the Holden Centre? I love the players to play with, you know, a bit of freedom. Um, you know, I really encourage that. Um, I like the, the players to do little things, you know, to get the little things right. So um, preparation's pretty important. Um, you know, locker room nice and tidy, things like that. And because um, when those sort of things fall off, and particularly, you know, maybe through the middle part of the year, you've got to be really careful that those things don't start getting messy because then what happens is, you know, the standards that, you know, you walk past are the ones you accept. So pretty keen on keeping things, you know, pretty uh, run a pretty tight ship in regard to that because it reflects on the field, on the way you play and your brand and those sort of things. And, you know, I like players to have the fun and, and the camaraderie needs to be really strong. Gary, we really appreciate you joining us on News Daily. But before we let you go, what do you make of our current playing list? Yeah, no, it's exciting. Um, if you just look in the back end of the year, you know, let's just go to the start of the year when you beat Sydney in round three and Geelong in round six and the West Coast, I guess, round 18. But, um, you know, nine nine wins, a draw, 12 losses. Um, it's a, you know, there's, there's some excitement in there that there's a, a good group of, some older boys, uh, you know, Pendlebury, side bottom, uh, Gold Sack and Reed of all 100 to 200 game players. You know, Sidey won a Copeland the other night, so he's had a pretty good year and, you know, can probably get better. Um, you know, so towards the, towards, I guess, the um, the back end of the year, you know, some some wins which were, were really important on the back of, you know, uh, Nathan being appointed for for another two years, which is really exciting for the club and, and for the group. So, uh, you know, although there's some older boys there and, you know, they've, um, they're really experienced players, there's a good group of younger guys coming through as well that, um, you know, can really step up, I reckon, over the next couple of years. I reckon that's the exciting bit as well. Collingwood's new assistant coach, Gary Hocking there, and he, of course, joins Robert Harvey, Justin Longmuir and Brenton Sanderson as Nathan Buckley's assistant coaches in 2018 and beyond. We move our focus to the expanding world of women's football, and we're proud to announce that we'll field a VFLW team in 2018. But just what does that mean for Collingwood? We caught up with our women's football operations manager, Matthew James, for a rundown on how the new team will work. It's an exciting time, for, especially for the club, in terms of going from a one women's team to two. Um, the, the process will be that it's all about development for our girls. And um, coming off an AFLW season, there's a lot of wear and tear and fatigue. So we'll, it's probably about managing our girls too. So none of our girls will play every game. Um, so we'll hold a, a testing day um, in early November, which will be uh, open to the general public. And uh, we'll be looking at a multitude of players, cross-code rookies, um, and then we'll fill up our list. So we think we'll probably have between 26 and 28 of our current AFL um, girls on our VFLW list, and then we'll move to, to fill the other spots with um, new talent. And, and our premise has always been that we want to get as many young girls coming through our VFL um, team, and we know we're not going to be able to draft all of them, but if it means we can help the expansion teams um, get a leg up and really promote that talent come through to AFLW level, I think that's part of what we're about. Um, so as much as we want to win you know, every game, um, it's also about developing that talent pool um, to make the AFLW uh, sustainable. 
And back to trade and today no trades have been completed but there are still a few deals up in the air. We start with Melbourne's Jack Watts who is expected to find a new home this trade period. Watts reportedly toured Geelong's facilities on Tuesday however Port Adelaide may still be in the running to secure the former number one pick. Watts is managed by Paul Connors who has his hands full this week. Another client of Connors is Jake Stringer who is expected to find a new home but it may not happen soon with Connors saying the Bulldog and Essendon aren't close to reaching an agreement. And finally, Greater Western Sydney's Nathan Wilson is expected to find a new home at Fremantle this trade period. The defender has reportedly bought a house in WA, while GWS are expected to ask for a top 20 pick in return. Well, that's a wrap on day three of the NAB AFL trade period. Thanks for joining us on News Daily. We'll see you again this time tomorrow. Go Pies!